and they said it was her and it was really her it was just like a, a total heartbreak and, and shock yeah Tonight, we're finally getting a look at the woman troopers found dead in the trunk of a car after yesterday's chase. She's been identified as 28-year-old Brianna Johnson from Houston. Police have arrested this man, 35-year-old Victor Campbell. He is currently in the Jefferson County Jail on bonds, totaling more than $500,000. Now, this all started yesterday morning when troopers tried to pull Campbell over. He refused to stop, then took off into Beaumont. He finally stopped in a parking lot in downtown Beaumont after crashing twice. Now, once he was in custody, troopers started searching his car. That's when they found Johnson's body in the trunk. And tonight her loved ones tell 12 News reporter Jordan James that this shouldn't have happened. He's telling he joins us now with more from Johnson's friend who says she was a kind soul. Brianna Johnson is being remembered by a classmate as a young woman with a lot of potential who life was taken too soon. I just, I just, I just can't wrap my head around it right now. Disappointment and disbelief. I think I'm still in shock. Sums up how many family and friends are feeling after learning about the death of Brianna Johnson. It just doesn't seem that this type of incident will happen to her. To, to be found in the trunk of a car, it was just, it was just so heartbreaking. Tiffany Goodman attended college at Texas Southern University with Johnson and says she was special. She was a very confident and educated black woman. She was the sweetest person that you would probably ever come across. She, she was just a beautiful person just in general. Johnson's body was found in the trunk of a white Honda that Victor Campbell was driving. He led law enforcement on a chase from Chambers County to downtown Beaumont Saturday morning. Goodman says Johnson and Campbell were in a relationship less than a week ago. The two celebrated her birthday in Galveston, causing lingering questions for friends like Goodman. It all looked good. But we never know what's going on in someone's household. And I just don't know what was the cause behind, you know, her tragic incident. At just 28 years old, Johnson touched a number of lives. Even in death, her legacy will continue to live on. All we can do is try to, you know, wrap our arms around our loved ones and our friends while they are here and love on each other while they're here. The Johnson family has set up a GoFundMe account to help them with funeral expenses. Their goal is to try to get Brianna's body back to her hometown in California. If you would like to help out, we have a link to that on our website. Reporting here in Beaumont, Jordan James, 12 News.